Step 2. In this step, we will prepare normalized gene expression datasets of embryonic stem cells, ESCs, or induced pluripotent stem cells, iPSCs. Step 2a. We begin by normalizing raw expression profiles and creating a GCT file using Gene Pattern's Expression File Creator module. If you have yet to open Gene Pattern, click the Gene Pattern icon in the Genome Space toolbar. In the Modules tab, either search or browse for the module Expression File Creator and select it from the slide out menu. Click the Genome Space tab and navigate through your directories to the file diffescipsc.zip. Click and drag the file to the Input File field. Set the Annotate Probes parameter to No. Click Run to submit the job and await its completion. Step 2b. Next, we calculate the log of the normalized expression profiles using the preprocessed dataset module in Gene Pattern. In the Modules tab, either search or browse for the module Preprocessed Dataset and select it from the slide out menu. Under the Jobs tab, click and drag the output from your previous job, diffescipsc.gct, to the Input File Name field. Set the Threshold and Filter parameter to No, and the Log2 Transform parameter to Yes. Click, Run, and wait for your job to finish. Step 2c. Collapse the dataset to average the different probes and get gene symbols using Gene Patterns Collapse Dataset module. Again, head to the Modules tab to search or browse for the module Collapse Dataset and select it from the slide out menu. Under the Jobs tab, click and drag the output from your previous job, diffescipsc.preprocessed.gct, to the Dataset File field. In the Chip Platform field, click Add Path or URL and enter the URL to the file hgu133plus2.chip. The URL may be found in this video's description. Click Select. Set Collapse Mode to Median. Click Run and proceed once your job has completed. Step 2D. Normalize the dataset by row centering using the Hierarchical Clustering module in Gene Pattern. In the Modules tab, search or browse for the module Hierarchical Clustering and select it from the slide out menu. Under the Jobs tab, click and drag the output from your previous job, diffescipsc preprocessed collapse.gct, to the input file name field. Set the Row Center parameter to subtract the mean of each row. Click Run and wait for your job to finish. Step 2e. Next, send the resulting file back to Genome Space. Click the file outputted from your previous job, diffescipsc preprocessed collapsed.cdt, and choose Save to Genome Space from the slide out menu. Choose a directory in which to save the file, and click Select. Return to Genome Space and click the directory to refresh it and view your file. Step 2F. Finally, convert the CDT file to a Genomica tab file. Right-click the recently saved CDT file and choose Convert. Ensure that you are converting to Genomica tab and click Convert on Server. Once the conversion has finished, a new tab file with the same prefix name should appear in your folder. 